Star Guest. <laughs> hey guys, it's Christmas time. We're uh, we're decorating today. No tree is complete without a train set, and this is my favorite train. Put it in the tree. So I figured um, since this is the train that we normally put under the tree, I'd do a little review on it. This is the uh, G Gage Lionel Thomas set, the original version. I figure uh, I'll, I'll build it and I'll talk about it because I, I know a little bit about it. So let, let's get on in, in here. Let's crack this sucker open. From the packaging, you can already see that this is a pretty vintage looking Thomas item. Some of the early train sets, uh, especially all the ones by Lionel, had this white packaging with these blown up images of the uh, models from the TV show on them. This was, again, the first version that came out of this train set in 1993. This is the version that had... This version had all of the track in brown and later they changed it to yellow track. The next year, 1994, they released a version of James and James was uh, red, he was red. So a buddy of mine actually found this at a yard sale in New Jersey and this is pretty much like in mint condition in the package. I'm pretty sure this family only ran this guy for holidays and stuff. I think I, because it was, it was a group family with like a bunch of Christmas stuff and so they were selling it at a yard sale and it was uh, 20 bucks. And this version goes for about like 150, 200 ish on eBay I think. So it was nice to find a mint condition one for 20 bucks. The only part in here that I replaced are the wires for the controller because Britt, brother, and I decided to hook a car battery up to this train set one time and we fried the original wires that came with it that connect to the rails so we have these now. Doesn't really matter, but those are the only parts in this that are not original. Everything else is. It comes with like literally everything, uh, a list of places that sold like Lionel trains, ser Lionel service stations, 1993 to 1994. So this is like a list of, I think all the places you could get your train serviced or whatever. The original instruction booklet with that lovely original logo and line art. And you know, it tells you all the basic stuff about how to, you know, set the train system up. This is, this is a little connector part for the track. Lovely original transformer. So, Anyway, going back to this guy, as I said, this is the 1993 version, and they re-released this in 1994. Hey, this is, uh, this is Ed. I'm editing right now, and I said the wrong date. It wasn't re-released in 1994, it was released in 2001. Sorry. That was James. James came out in 94. He was red. With... Um, slight modifications to Thomas and the coaches, I think had a couple things different to them. Thomas was re-released um, with a white running board, got three uh, face covers that went over this uh, default face. And the new one also came with little mini figures of Sir Topham Hat and two controllers, and it came with one of the new updated um, Lionel power boxes instead of this old one. On all the coaches, they have these little release tab things and for some reason the one on Clarabelle is broken off and I think the whole part is just missing. Track. I've kept I've kept good track of this kill me. The later version that was released had the blue packaging that a lot of Tom's toys in like 2001 had. James came with yellow track, he came with optional faces, and he came with two troublesome trucks. I think the newer ones also came with like, um, like the big play mats that you could put the track down on. So they made um, this version, the 2001 version, and then I forget what year it was, but Bachman actually started making G.H. Thomases, and they are more catered towards the TV show look, uh, the animated show, I should say. This one just has such an odd shape to it. Like, the wheels are so tiny, 
and it's on this little tiny like chassis thing and like there's this big empty space back here. His body is all right, but again, I feel like his face is a little too forward and I feel like he's just a little too swashed. It was 1993 and I don't know if Lionel had ever tried to make anything like Thomas before. So it was a good attempt. That's also why I, <laughs> shit. It was probably some grandparents or something and they had, you know, grandkids and they figured they'd buy a Thomas train and stick it under the tree. And... Dead bugs, there's dead bugs. So this part, get my fat foot out of the way. This part goes under here, connects to the rails. Take this boy, put him here. This boy goes here. Boys goes here. There we go. There we go. There we go. We gotta get to his level. We gotta get on his level. Remember, kids. If you face Annie and Clarabelle the wrong way, parents don't love you. No one ever will. Since I can't couple them correctly right here, I just kind of set Annie's coupler on top of Clarabelle's and it works. You can actually take the tops off of both of them and on the inside, it's for little critters. Yeah, you can put your friends in there. You can put your dog in there. Oh, come here, you big boo bastard. It's kind of hard to couple them on curve track sometimes. Let's give him a spin. <laughs> you this? No. Damn it. is the 1993 G-Gaze Lionel Thomas set. And I'm really lucky that I own one of these. It's a real nice piece of Thomas history, especially in the electric train sense, in my opinion. Um, I think it's really nice to have one of these, just especially because it's in such good condition and it's totally in the box. Um, it's a very unique Thomas, <laughs> I will say that much. He looks very uh, unique and different than all the other ones, so. That's about it guys, um, I hope many of you have trains running under your trees this year. Maybe they won't be a Thomas, but they, uh, you should still have a train under your tree, because that's, that's important. So we're going to get back to decorating, and if I don't see all of you again before Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and all that, um, and hopefully I'll have some more uh, modeling videos up within the next couple months, so that's about it. Bye. Say bye, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm the most active. If you want to see more of me, that's where I'll be.